Hello, and welcome to MG's Tech Talk, Episode 6, UL94 Flammability Test. We will be looking at several different product categories, including conformal coatings, adhesives, and potting compounds. Let's start by looking at the test setup for the vertical burn test. With potting and adhesive compounds, we prepare samples in strips that measure 125 millimeters long and 13 millimeters wide. Using a Bunsen burner, a flame approximately one centimeter high is lit, and with the strip suspended vertically, the flame is put into contact with the strip at a 45 degree angle. Cotton balls are placed at the base of the apparatus as a way to detect whether particles from the sample drip. In our first example, let's look at what happens to 832B, a general purpose epoxy, when we run it through the test. In step one, we hold the flame to the sample for 10 seconds and then remove, waiting for the flame to extinguish. Here, we quickly see the flame spread through the sample, reaching an uncontrollable burn. This would be considered a fail. Now, let's try the same test with 834HTC, a UL certified flame retardant epoxy. We introduce the flame for 10 seconds, then remove and wait for the flame to extinguish. Once extinguished, we repeat for another 10 seconds. As you can see, the flame does not spread in this sample and quickly extinguishes once removed. The horizontal burn test changes the setup slightly by placing the sample on a horizontal plane. A flame is introduced at one end of the sample, and the rate at which it takes the flame to spread to the other end is timed. A specimen is considered compliant if the rate of flame spread is less than 40 millimeters per minute or 75 millimeters per minute, depending on the sample thickness. Now, let's look at conformal coatings. As you can see, it measures the same length and width as the samples we showed earlier. For this test, we coat a laminate strip composed of materials common in the fabrication of printed circuit boards. This particular strip is fabricated from FR4 laminate and contains brominated compounds, rendering the strip flame retardant. Both sides of the strip are coated, with thicknesses typically ranging from 1 to 3 mils per side. We repeat the vertical burn test, as was shown with the potting example, and see that the coating quickly self-extinguishes giving it a V0 rating. For more information, visit our website, follow us on LinkedIn, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.